Welcome to Airfield Mixologist. So today what we're going to be looking at is uh, this particular card. This is a Weber 40 DCOE and th this card has been sitting in my shop for maybe a year and the reason why is because uh, at first I, th I thought it was a scrap card because the I had to drill out the original air mi um, idle mixture screw and it just um, I, th I thought the thread was ruined uh, but it turns out that I actually I could rescue this uh, by using um, JB Weld and a and a, a suitable tap uh, for the for this particular thread so this is so this was a successful repair and I'm going to show you some close-ups uh, on how I did it um, now in here we can see the detail of where I filled with epoxy and I only filled with epoxy along the bottom side of the carb and this is because the thread on this side was okay but the thread on this side of the cup wasn't okay. So I only filled with epoxy in one side of the, of the hole. As you can see now, the thread is much better formed around the outside. Now it's time to check with a brand new idle mixture screw. And it is still a bit loose, so I think it needs a bit more epoxy going right there so that a new thread can be formed. Because if you look at it, it's loose. It's not at the beginning, but in the middle. It's not mega important because you have to bear in mind that the Weber carbs have a seal here and this is sprung as well. So. In, in terms of, in terms of working it still work but it would be better if the if if the seal was perfect so let's compare this side with another new screw on this side that didn't need any work So now what we need to do is we need to put just a tiny blob of, J of JB Weld right at the bottom of the thread to recreate the bottom portion of the thread. It needs to be slightly thinner so I can get in the thread without causing a mess of JB Weld. So the technique is you put you you put some and then you clean the top of the thread. 
because I've already done the top of the thread therefore we don't need any more on the top of the thread but we do need some more at the bottom of the thread it's very important to keep the top square <clears throat> so before I showed you that this was a bit loose it was it was loose so what I did is I created I put more JB Weld here, waited 48 hours for it to cure again, and now let's try let's try this piece on. And now you're gonna see that it's much obviously you can't you can probably can't see it on screen, but it is much tighter than it was. So obviously and now they seat at the same level, which is quite good. So that means that this repair has been successful. I think this is because this thread really, the only thing it does is it holds the piece in place. And in order to complete this assembly, there is a ring, an O-ring, a ring that goes on top and a spring that goes on top of here. And that basically keeps it in position, keeps it from moving. And that would complete the repair in this particular one. 